didn't really get much of a chance to record here, but uh, another, it looks like um, three case dump in. There's a bunch of regular Camaros. I want to say I found a six one, but I'm not sure. If not, then I probably missed a super. If not, that's okay. I'm all I'm taking. There's no treasure hunts, so there's, I'm going to take the KDR 30. And I did find one Civic, so I do see two more over there, but those are all the spring sets. Um, I'm going to go over. I might take a couple spring sets, but that's going to be pretty much it. Alrighty, guys. I almost missed this dump in over by the meat section. Um, this was a three case bin and uh, this one had five treasure hunts in it which is weird but so i think two of them were from the other bin i don't think i was completely first um there's three civics in this one i'm sorry i am taking civics and i'm only taking two r30s but i am and i'm taking two subarus but that's all i'm taking here i will see you guys at the next stop Alrighty, um i was just at canadian tire thought i'd just take a quick peek nothing new um there was another section over there not going to show it but i thought this was kind of funny one of these is not alike do you guys see which one is not alike <laughs> yep um, the automobile peanut barista or however you say that i'll get that on camera i almost missed that but uh i don't know i don't know what to do about that leave it there um i'll see you guys at the next stop Let's take a peek at Walmart and see what we got here. Looks like the dump-ins haven't gotten anything new. Yeah, we're really low there. M2s look about the same. Excuse me. Okay. Nothing really new. Is there not a single... I'm gonna go around the other side. I'm just curious. Did somebody really... Okay, now they're all over here, but there isn't many. We've got boulevards for days there. Um... That's gonna do it. I'm ready. Let's see what we can find here. All right, we got new Matchbox. This is the mix with the the four GT. I do see some boxes. That's it so far. Man, I haven't had much luck getting things on video here today. Um, we have ourselves two fresh L cases, um, two duds, two THs. And uh, I'm gonna take a couple of these premiums while I get the chance. Stick that there, stick that guy there. And uh, yeah, four bucks for the premiums. You can't go wrong. Very nice ones. Um, I've had thoughts of maybe taking the 620. I might take a couple of those guys as well. But this is what I'm taking here for today. And that's what I found. Okay, guys, I'm at um, Shoppers. I wasn't expecting anything here today, but check that out. Matchbox moving parts. This is the new mix with the Evo. And we got the yellow charger. That's really nice as well. And the Porsche. All of these are really, really nice. Um, 
I know they've been having issues with the uh, paint on these and I'm not a really the biggest fan of the new packaging because you can go right in there and people can take those. Um, but that's what's here. We got the Evo, the Charger, and the uh, Porsche. Now, there's two of the Hummer. There's a Bronco. What do we got there? We got the uh, Land Cruiser in the back. And then we got the, the 19 Ford Mustang, which I'll pass on. But I definitely want the uh, Evo, the Charger, and the Porsche. Alrighty, guys. Four A cases. Um, we got ourselves three regular escorts. Last box. Boom. That's number four. And I think I have found this super in every way possible. I pulled it out of the case, pulled it out of the dump in, front of the pegs. That's number four. Um, it appears though that we only had three treasure outs, so that was interesting. Man, so that's number four. Let's keep them rolling. Let's go. All right, so I put these guys back in their boxes respectively. Um, this stuff I'm gonna throw in the bin, same with those. But the real prize is here. Three charge rounds out of four boxes. And I will see you guys at the next stop. That's right, super number four of the year. And yes, it's another green escort, but hey, super's a super. And it's under there somewhere. I, You guys know that the circle flame's under there, but yeah, number four on the year. I do gotta say, this one's a pretty clean super um and if i didn't find it i probably wouldn't have got it but oh yeah i do gotta say the spectra flame green looks really good on this one and if you are wondering oh I, oh he's faking it no no i'm not so there's the two from the dump in number one and number two and then there's the one i found on the front pegs so yeah there's number four i've had that there for a couple weeks and I'm recording this a few weeks after finding it. I haven't really done much recording recently. I've been doing tests, I'm in university. I've been writing some tests and stuff. And quite frankly, my brain has become mashed potatoes and silly putty. So it's not been, it's been a busy little stretch. So this is my break. Um, hopefully this continues in 2024. I think this year is gonna be a big year but we have a shorter episode, so I'm going to show a couple of quick mail calls and uh, we'll wrap it up. So the first one I'd like to share is the, uh, the, the 1995 Treasure Hunt Classic Cobra. Only 10,000 Treasure Hunts were produced at this time. Um, and yeah, this one's metal body, metal base. The wheels are not rubber, they're um, coal molds, which is what they're called because they have like a rubber tire look, but they're not. It's all plastic and yeah so 10,000 produced with these let's compare that to modern supers super treasure hunts are produced within the hundred thousands at least roughly one in ten cases and you got to think of the national global distribution like these are super rare this is quite a sought-after car but I figure I'd share that and this next one I am so excited about. This is a car I've wanted for a long, long time. We have ourselves the Ghost. Um, it is the 2003 Treasure Hunt 1971 Plymouth GTX. And if you know, you know. This is quite the piece. And yeah, this thing is just so gorgeous in person. I'm so glad I got it. Um, the actual, the original version of this is supposed to be red, the one that was mass produced. I have it, um, it's way up there in the le top right corner of my ceiling, but I didn't, I forgot to bring it down. Um, and I think from what I heard, there was only like three or 400 of these that got out. So yeah, this is a very, very limited piece. But I figure I'd share a couple mail calls. It's been a while since I've actually had the chance to sit down and make a video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Another super treasure out found. Don't forget to leave a like, share the video, and subscribe. Don't forget to share it with your friends, family, cats, dogs, squirrels, whoever. Please just share the video. Happy hunting and stay safe. Mm -hmm.